We're going to be comparing leather Doc Martens like the 1460s or the 1461s to non-leather Doc Martens, for example, the Comtec or the utility boots. We're going to be comparing the size, the fit, and just some general pros and cons of each. Lastly, if you enjoy Doc Martens, consider subscribing to the channel. Sizing. So when it comes to sizing, we all know that Doc Martens do not make half sizes. So that means for some of us, we're either going to have to go a size up or a size down. For me, the way that I figured out my Doc Martens size was I went to a store, tried it out, and then from that day forward, I kind of knew like my leather Doc Martens size. Also, there's like charts and everything. I made like videos and things about just trying to find your Doc Martens size. Should be up here. But when it comes to my non-leather Doc Martens, I already have the Terry Glows. Those are like utility boots. The biggest advice that I'll give you, always try to try them on, if possible. I know it's not possible for everyone, but if there's a possibility, go to the store and try it on because them Terry Glows, they were a size eight. I generally wear a size nine. They were like super small, I guess. Like they run very big. I tried those. I'm a size eight in those, but when it comes to leather docks, I'm a size nine. And then a couple weeks ago, I tried the, um, the Combs tech, those tech boots, and I was a size nine, which was very confusing. So generally, I like to say that my Doc Martin size is a size nine, but the advice that I'll give you is always, always, always try the Doc Martens in the store. If possible, always try them in the store. When it comes to the fit of these Doc Martens, they start out differently, but eventually get to the same spot. What I mean by that, for example, the leather Doc Martens, there's a break in period, meaning that you have to break into the leather. You have to soften up the leather. So the more that you wear it, the more that is going to mold into your feet during this process and it's going to fit you like a glove eventually. And then it's going to get very comfortable and you can walk in your Doc Martens for however long you want. But the biggest problem is depending on the leather that you do get because some leathers are easier to break into than others and people have different type of experiences breaking into Doc Martens. So this might be a pleasant one for you while others they went through a difficult one. So that's the biggest thing when it comes to leather Doc Martens. On the flip side, non-leather Doc Martens, obviously if it's like polyester or just fabric or like mesh like the one that I do have, I don't have to worry about breaking them in. I know that they're not gonna stretch. Whatever size that I do have is what is gonna stay until the shoes or the boots are done with. The good thing about that is you get the Doc Martin comfort without the Doc Martin hurt. If you understand what I mean by that, Doc Martens, the airwear soles, they're very comfortable. And for me, I really like them. For example, when I got my Turk Lowe's, right out the box, they were good to go. I had so much comfort with them that they became like one of my top Doc Martin boots just because of how comfortable they are, literally. And I'm sure all of them are the same because they have that same sole structure. To wrap things up, there's no winners with these two. I mean, it just depends on your personal style, preference and things like that. So I just have to say when it comes to the leather Doc Martens, usually there's more variety, but the non-leather, it's a growing, niche i guess in in the doc martin community they're growing and they notice like there is a trend for them so they're trying to put out more and all of that but yeah i feel like they're both great when it comes to the fit the leather ones you just got to put in a little bit more work in the beginning but eventually it evens out to the non-leather one which is this great right out the box everything is cool and when it comes to sizing i'll have to say literally go check out a Doc Martens store or a store that sell Doc Martens. That's your best bet. Or you can watch this video right here where I just go into all the sizes or talk about sizing when it comes to Doc Martens.